I'm Tom from Do It Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at the Wonderview Baby Playmat. So you may be looking at this and thinking that doesn't look big enough for a baby to actually use. It's because it folds up into this really small uh, shape. It's really easy to fold. And then you can actually open it up and lay it down on the floor and ends up with this nice big linear mat. Um, so that covers a nice big space, but then actually you can use it as this size or you can even make it bigger. So it folds out again, and I'm going to go ahead and lift this and fold it out, and you can see the whole size of this. So here we go. Uh, this is the full size, and it's huge. It covers the whole floor here. Um, as you can see, you get a lot of space for baby to crawl around on. And um, as you can see, it started as that very small size and fills up my whole room at this point. Um, other things I really like about it, it has these... Uh, letters and numbers on the surface. So it has an educational aspect as they get bigger, but it also creates a nice textured surface so they get some uh, grip, especially as they're just starting to crawl. It's really helpful. And you've got these nice vibrant graphics, including things like uh, height measurements um, and these different fun kind of jungle characters. Very high contrast, bright. Um, they might want to grab. Notice uh, my kid likes to try to grab this little pink bird on there. Um, so that's again, nice high contrast there. And it's a really good construction. It's very um, supportive, uh, good and protective, especially if you have wood floors or tile floors like I do. And you can see it's a nice thick um, material there. It's flat on this side, it's a little bit curved on this side, but it provides a good level of padding and cushioning as they're playing, especially as they're just starting to experiment with standing and walking. Obviously supervise them when they're using it, but it provides this great big surface. And then one final thing I love about it, you can take the whole thing and flip it over as I'll do now. And you get um, this whole other surface with this um, letters and under the sea and different characters on here. Um, maybe a little bit more, uh, you know, visually exciting, maybe for a little bit of an older kid. And um, again, it's just still uh, really versatile because you do have those two surfaces. And then when you're ready to fold it up, let's just do this actually, um, that folds here. And then the whole thing just starts to fold in. Um, you can see I'm even doing this one handed. And then we're back to this really contained unit that you can tuck away in a corner and store easily.